A local mom is very relieved tonight. She claims a man used money to try and lure her seven-year-old son into a car. Local 15's Madupe Idowu has been following the story for us. And Madupe, the suspect in this case, faces charges, but not for attempted kidnapping. That's right. You know, Brenda Rogers told me she's both grateful and angry tonight. She's happy to have her son home safe, but she doesn't understand why the suspect isn't facing more serious charges. I'm just thankful that my son is okay and he's home with us. It's a mother's worst nightmare, and now six-year-old Boy Jay has sleepless nights because of what happened Sunday evening. Brenda Rogers says her son was riding his bike in front of their home on Budiski Drive when a man pulled up. And he asked my little brother, he was like, come in, little boy, come in, little boy, and then my little brother was about to get out the bike. He said, do you want $2? Did, did I say that? But his older sister, Erica Dunn, did say I something. I was like, no, Boy Jay, don't go over there. You can't go over there. That's a stranger. She was able to get her brother and run home. I ran behind the truck. Then I kept on crying till we got home. What did he? What did he look like? Uh, he looked like a monster. When Mobile Police arrived, they spotted the suspect and tried to stop the driver. Police tell us they eventually tracked him down near Steiner Street and found he suffered injuries to his face. Once he's released from the hospital, authorities say he'll face several charges: attempting to elude and failure to obey. No attempted kidnapping charges. How does it make you feel knowing that he doesn't face any uh, uh, kidnapping related charges? Terrible. I mean, it could be another child that, you know, can happen to him. And also, you know, I'm glad that my child is okay, but what about the next? Police tell us there wasn't enough evidence to charge the suspect with attempted kidnapping. But the nightmares and emotional scars for this little one is enough evidence for this mom. I heard him screaming. I've always thought it happened to somebody else, not me. Now, Roger says other neighbors have come to her and said they've seen that same truck circling their neighborhood, and she's asking that if anyone had a similar experience that they reported to police, Greg? All right, Madhu, thanks.